welcome back to my channel. I am Angelica Taylor, if you're new, and today I'm coming to you with a to check it right with me. I know I think I look crazy. My hair is drying, and don't mind this white stuff. It's just like it'll go away once everything is dry and finished. But yeah, I already like put a little bit of primer on. I use the baby skin um, by Maybelline of primer and then I did my brows and I just used my brow thing for my benefit so yeah and then I can just do or clean them up with um the smash the smash box uh, studio skin 24 hour whatever yeah but I just wanted to come on here and like I know I haven't posted a video in a long time but I'm just been like kind of really busy. Like I'm getting ready to move to Arizona literally like next weekend. Um, it's the sixth today, so I'm moving like, I guess we're leaving like that Friday. We'll probably get there that Friday, so I guess like the 13th. But yeah, um, if you don't know, if you don't follow me or my boyfriend on like Instagram or whatever, um, yeah, we are buying a house in Arizona. like this like really stressed me out so yeah and yeah so I just really haven't been like filming I should go and see my parents um this past weekend for Easter and I wanted to go down there this weekend but I think they're gonna come just go ahead and come down here and just like help me finish packing and go through everything that I'm throwing away and stuff and yeah so it's just like really stressful I hate filming I really hate like Going to places, but yeah, I'm gonna be using these little samples. Is um, the samples of what are they called? I have the foundation, I just still have samples by the side of the It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, foundation, but I have the samples still, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use those until I run out. I'm gonna go ahead and add another primer, and I have this shampoo that I got from Sephora, and it's the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on. And Cardio Baby is in here, so I'm gonna get it. There you go. Get it up. 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 Get for too long like when I was when we got pregnant like I stayed with my parents and um that was like the longest that we had uh been apart until now like we've been apart for a really long time so I don't like it now that I'm used to being around him you know he's pushing me to go but <laughs> um yeah I just I'm ready to be there with him, but I just don't really do well like in new places. Like I get anxiety. Like I feel a little bit better about this move, like just cause I feel like I'm a little more like open to new things, but also I'm still like it's like my anxiety like creeps up and I don't really like the feeling of being in a new place, like especially like by myself. And Fred is gonna be leaving for Europe like pretty soon. I don't know if he's going to London or if he's going to Asia, somewhere in Asia. Like, I can't remember which, what place in Asia that he's going, but yeah, I, like he's gonna be there for a few weeks and like his birthday is on May 7th and that's exactly the same day that he's leaving to uh, go run overseas so yeah so if you don't know much about Fred like Fred is a professional athlete he runs for Nike um, well he runs for our country but he's sponsored by Nike yes and um, yeah so he has to travel a lot like so, yeah, I'm really just getting ready because I'm trying to go to Sephora and get some Riri, what is it? Beach, beach something, beach wear, whatever, but it's the new like body stuff. Like, but yeah, um, I'm just getting ready to go get that Fenty beauty stuff. And you know, I already got the Cardi B album, so two of my faves like drop some stuff. 
yeah and so far like i like cardi b's album let me know what y'all think about it i want to know if y'all like it or what like people be hating on her for no reason like she's mean why be mad and it really like makes me mad when i see like a guy say something because i just feel like why are you so mad like because she like tells the truth and it's coming from a woman like that's sometimes how I be feeling, like that's the reason they're mad because she's so raw and real. And she's a woman, so because, you know, for for real, for real, if it was a man saying everything that she was saying, like, they'd be like, yeah, I like his music, blah, blah, blah. I just love this foundation. And you see how, like, beautiful this color is? And then you see just, like, my plain old Pretty, dusty, pretty, dusty. Anyway, anyways, um, yeah. Oh yeah, we are so freaking close to 100 subscribers. And I mean like, I know like it's not even like that big deal, like sis, it's only 100 subscribers. But it's like a big deal to me, like, I don't know, it's just, I don't know. You guys like me, you really like me. You know, that's how I be feeling, like, did start my channel, like, I guess like a few years ago, yeah, it's been like, I guess two or three, two and a half to three years that I did start it, but I was just using like an iPad and I didn't like the quality, so I deleted all those videos and then I started, uh, I started back up when I got a camera because I was just like super disappointed in like the quality and like it just makes you feel like crappy like. But maybe if I would have still just like kept doing it, maybe I would have already had more than 100 subscribers. But I still have like 20 something subscribers, so it wasn't that bad. And if you guys want a story time on how me and Fred met, let me know. <laughs> Cause it's juicy. Yeah, but yeah, me and Fred have been together going on like, I, is it four or five years? I can't. I don't remember like I have to do like the man. But yeah, we've been together since I guess 2015? Yeah. It was in 2015. I think it might have been like 20 2014. No. Yeah, yep. It was 2014. Going into 2015, yeah, because I had me in 2015, and then, yeah, so 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, we're going, we're going on five years. Like, I can't believe, like, half a decade. Like, well, I guess it, like, we're going on like four years now because we started dating like September. We were together a whole year before we had Mia. Um, like, well, when we had gave birth to Mia. Um, so yeah, I feel like, like when people listen to it, it's like, dang, you guys are like moving too fast, but you know, you know when you know, that's how I feel like, you know when things are right. Like, I mean like, you, like, it's so hard to explain like because I've made a lot of dumb decisions and I found out to when I didn't know, but it's just like, it was like I took the time from like all of the shitty stuff that I went through and just took time to like breathe and just being me for a little bit and then it was like Fred like it'll all just come out in the story time if you really want to hear because it's just like it's just like a lot of like stuff that leads up to us like being together so I think I'm just gonna save it for that video story time like I really kind of want to been I like I kind of really want to do the story times or like a chit chat get ready with me story time because I have so many like embarrassing things that I could say about myself and just like a lot of stuff like I've gone through like insecurity wise and things like that like let's just talk about the insecurity part like so I grew up in West Texas it is this like when people ask me where I'm from I always just say Abilene because no one knows where Winters is. I'm gonna go in with this Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade or the number C11 and I'm just gonna um, highlight you know those areas. Yeah but um, it is predominantly uh, white Mexican people that live there. Um, I know 
I consider myself to be a black woman, but I am Afro-Latina. I am half Mexican and half African-American and, but I, I mean, I feel like only people of color can tell that I'm mixed. Like, I, majority of mixed people, or like people of color, like, know that I'm most likely mixed. Um, but yeah, so like you could just imagine like being a black girl in a place where no one else looks like you. So like not even your mom. And you know, my dad, we didn't really grow up with my dad. He was incarcerated. Um, like when we were younger, he was there. So like, I think, I guess it was through the fourth grade, I think up until the fourth grade or the thir my third grade year of elementary school, like is when he was um, incarcerated all the way up until I was in the eighth grade. And um, so it wasn't like I had that one person there that, you know, the main person that looked like me telling me that, you know, you're beautiful and you shouldn't worry about this and that, you know, like I didn't really have that there. And you know, my sister and I like talk about this all the time because we were going through like some of the same things when uh, we were in school, but we never talked to each other about those things. Like we kind of just didn't talk about it. But yeah, like those, like I went, like that stuff is like hard to go through like, alone like I wish like me and my sister did talk more but we like we're three years like apart from each other in age now like we're super close like she's like my best friend like my only friend honestly um and we talk about it now and the thing is is like the same things that she was like going through like I was going through those same feelings and like emotions and things like that and I didn't even know like she was going through those. And mind you, my sister looks more Mexican than I do, so yeah. But it's just like, um, you know, I, I would tell her like, dang, like I wish you would just like up talk to me about it, cause then maybe we like could have sat down and like talked about how we felt. And it would have just felt like, we would have just felt better knowing that we both are going through the same thing. And you know, we could just be there for each other. You just like, feel ugly when people keep saying oh like oh you're just too dark or you're not pretty and like I guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day if they tell me I'm not pretty like my mom tells me I'm beautiful and I believe her over these other people anyway but it just like makes you feel insecure when people like for instance like when you have a crush on someone they're like Ew, you're so dark and it's just like wow like it just uh it lowers your self-esteem and like I remember this one time like we were in junior high and I had this friend I'm not even mention sure her name like if she watches this video she'll know it's her um we're not like I wouldn't consider us friends anymore like there was other stuff that went on that led to us not being friends but it wasn't this um but like I remember one time like I mean, I was a late bloomer though. Like, I literally, even though this is too much information, like, I did not start my period until I was in the eighth grade. Like, all my friends had already started their periods, and I was like the only girl that didn't have a period yet. So, um, yeah, I was like a super late bloomer. Like, girls started their period at nine years old. Like, that's the real life other stuff. Like, I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. Like, if I started my period at nine years old, like, girl still at elementary okay um yeah um we were in i guess the seventh grade so like in sixth grade you can try out to be a cheerleader for like junior high which i never did that because like i said i had low self-esteem and i knew i probably wouldn't make it because only cute girls make it which i was cute now but this back then i didn't feel cute people didn't think i was cute so therefore i was not cute and so um so she tried out her cheerleading, but you know, like she was already going through puberty and I, like, I still hadn't hit puberty yet. So like, of course she was gonna start acting more girly and things like that. Like, I, I've been like a tomboy all my life. I'm still a tomboy now. Like I like the outdoors. Like I like doing things that don't always go around makeup and clothes. Like I like getting dirty. Like I like digging holes and playing in dirt and stuff like that. Like 
I just that's just always been me. Like I feel like my dad never like limit us to those type of things like it's like if he can do it I can do it too so um, those are like kind of things that I remember like growing up <laughs> um, anyways back to the story before I lose track um, yeah so like she was trying out for cheerleading and stuff and like I just noticed like she started changing more like she wasn't the same person that I started hanging out but I was hanging out with when I was in like elementary and stuff like that and like I remember telling her like you know you've changed and stuff and all this other stuff and she had the audacity to turn to me and say, well, maybe it's just because you don't know what it's like to be pretty. And I was like, oh, girl, if I didn't consider her my friend, I probably would have punched her in the face. But it was just like a slap in my face because it was like, aren't you my friend? Like, why would you even say something like that? Saying to my face because you're upset. That's how you really feel. And like, I know like she felt bad. Like she apologized for it and stuff like that, but that's how you feel. And like, I can tell like she's always like, she, like through like us being in high school and stuff, like she always tried to make up with it by saying that I was pretty and blah, blah, blah. But like, girl, you said what you said. Like, ain't no turning back. She would set my face with some, or my casino spot with some Laura Mercier. You want me to brush your hair? Are you sure? Cause you like to cry a lot. That's just how I am. But yeah, I don't really, like to be honest, I don't have friends back home either. Like, I would only consider one person a friend and she knows who she is. But yeah, like, we don't talk every day either. Like, we used to talk a lot more than we do now. But like, we just have different lives. Like, we're living different lives. Like, it, that's just how I see it. Like, you, I don't know. Like, I just can't talk to someone like that besides my love. Like, no, like, I just can't do it. It's, to me, personally, it's weird. Like, I feel like if you need me, pick up the phone and call me. Like, that's it. But, and if I need to go down there and we need to fight some people, then that's what it is. But I just can't be talking to anybody every day like that. Like, and I'm kind of like a shy person. I wouldn't say like I'm a big shy person, but I guess that's also like why it's hard for me to make friends. Like, but also that has something to do like with going to college and like, just being in a different environment and being around different people. Like, it was just like, going to college, like, that was when I realized like, people are real life. Like, people that, like how people say they are. Like, the world is just ugly. It's ugly and people will like to like, just beat you down for no reason. Just for their amusement, for like, insecure about myself. And like anything anyone said to me, like I really would take it like personal, even though I wouldn't like show my feelings. Like that's one thing about me. Like even if someone offends me, I try to like play it off like they didn't because I don't like people seeing me be weak, like or them knowing that they got under my skin. Like I feel like that's how they like view you as weak. Oh, I can do this, pick at her, pick at her, and she's gonna get mad. Like. If I get mad about it, like I just have to talk about it to someone that I trust. Because I refuse, I refuse to let anyone think that. And then like there's been people that don't like me for no reason. And um, like call me on my name and stuff. And like me personally, like, I feel like, again, if you're not all up in my face, then you're really not trying to fight me. And clearly you have issues with in yourself. Ooh, this is bad on camera. Like you have issues within yourself to just dislike me for no reason, which is cool. It's cool. Like we don't have to be friends, it don't hurt me. But the thing that I hate the most is when people like, I don't know why I set my forehead. I hate putting this down and powder on my forehead. It is super dry for no reason. And I guess that's also like caused me to just be like, Cool, I don't have to mess with people. Let me just stick to myself. I can do me. And I don't have to worry about anybody else, like hearing anybody else. I just feel like when you stay away from people, like you have less drama. You don't you don't hear your name getting brought up. I'm not trying to paint a picture of me like being an innocent person because I have said and done things that like I shouldn't be saying and that I should not be doing, but I did it. Lesson learned. But the thing is, is like, if I was like the person that I am now, then when all that stuff was happening, like things would have turned out differently. Like, you can say whatever you want to me, don't touch me. Like, don't touch me. That's how I feel, like, 
words don't hurt me. So, yeah, but I don't know, like, oh, I'm setting my, well, I'm spraying this spray on my face, the Quick Fix by Urban Decay. Um, I just usually spray this on my spray because, as you can see, I have powder on my face. It's a hot mess because it's actually looking. So, I just use this to, like, spray and pretty things. Like, yeah, I didn't have my dad around to, like, tell me that I was pretty, like, even though, like, my mom would tell me, like, my mom doesn't look like me. Like, she's a Mexican woman. Like, silky, curly hair. Like, she just doesn't look like me. So, and, uh, like, don't get me wrong, I love my mommy. But it's just, and she did a good job, like, like trying to, like, keep those insecurities down. But it's still not the same when you don't have someone there that is, that looks like you and is telling you, like, you, you're beautiful and you don't listen to what these other people have to say like that's why I say like I tell Fred all the time like it's really important for girls to have their dads there too like especially black dads like those are our defenders those are our protector like like that I feel like sometimes that's the problem like is sometimes we get that oh, I don't date black girls but he's black and like, I feel like that hurts more than someone outside of my race telling me like, you know, I don't really date black girls like for like, our defenders, like you're supposed to stick up for me. And so when like someone that is my race is like, oh, I don't date black girls. Like, it's like, well dang you, you know, like regardless if your child is mixed, like you're still giving me, like that person is still gonna give birth to a black child, regardless interracial, whatever, like, so you sitting there saying like in front of your daughter like you don't date black girls or whatever like it's a problem. Like, if you don't date with black women that's fine but just don't verbally say it to another black woman like it's disrespectful for one like you came from a black woman like. So what I'm saying is half of the like our insecurities too like it don't come from the outside world it also like comes within like our group of people too, like, I don't know. I guess I'm just babbling, I don't, I don't know. Let me just stop, cause that's a whole nother thing too. But yeah, also like, yeah, like it was just like some of the guys that I would like and stuff like, they like, just made you feel like lower, like, cause you, you don't have silky blonde hair or you don't have bright blue eyes or pale skin, like, yeah, that's, they just be trying to make you feel ugly and the thing is, I'm grown now, so what you got to say? And I'm checking for those same people anyway, like, I like chocolate man, okay? Okay, yeah, I'm contouring. So I'm gonna take my It's My Ray Ray's palette and take the contouring shades or, I don't know, I guess it's more like contouring, I think it is. Contour, yeah. I feel like you could use it as a bronzer, no. but for like Latino, um, like culture is like my culture, but and that's what I was really like raised on. Like I ate Mexican food, like dishes, me. Yeah, I mean like, it, but also like, I felt like suffocated there. Like I couldn't be me, like, I would like relax my hair and literally I would strain my hair so much. Like I just wanted, I didn't even want curly hair. Like I was like, oh, why couldn't I have my mom's hair? Well, like her hair is curly too, but like it's like softer and silkier and all that stuff. Like I remember like just thinking like that and being like, like, oh, I just, why can't I just have this and that and not be like this? And how come I just can't look like them? And you know, like I said, like if I feel like if I would have had my dad there, like I never would have felt like that. I would have been like, I'm pretty the way I am. I'm okay. Like, yeah, like just have someone there that looks like me telling me that Miha, you're beautiful. Well, he wouldn't have said Miha, but he would have been like, girl, you're beautiful. Don't worry about that. Blah, blah. Or he would have just told me not to be worried about to be honest I feel like if my dad was there I wouldn't be even worried about boys like I'd be too scared to talk to one 
Like, but me and my dad, we talk about that too. Like, like what it would have been like, like if he was there and stuff. Like, I never would have talked to no boy. Like, what the heck? Like, what is a boy? How do you spell boy? What What is a boy? That's how it would have been. Like, I wouldn't have been worried about boys, but. Seriously though, I really did not feel pretty until I went to college, okay? And I have never, ever seen so many beautiful chocolate men until I went to college, okay? Like, like I ever laid eyes on this just like chocolate job in college. I, it was like over from there, like I knew my type then. Dark chocolate, no turning back. Dark chocolate, tall, and hip, fine. <laughs> like I just, like that's it. Once I went to college, it was like, what is other races? Like what is other races? Like no, like, no. Oh. Chocolate is more bad. If you tell me otherwise, like we ain't friends, okay? Confidence, like, but then like my junior year of college, like I was comfortable with myself. It didn't really matter if someone told me that I wasn't cute or they didn't find me attractive. Like, okay, you want me to cry? Like, I don't care. Like, it is what it is. You don't find me attractive, someone else will. That's just how I feel. Like, we don't have to talk. We don't have to be friends. Like, it is what it is. I think the kids are no joke, like they real life make you do things like you just would never have even done in the first place. That's how I feel like insecurity is like within yourself, like it's so freaking toxic, like so toxic, like like just not loving yourself enough. That's how I feel like I didn't have like what what about like without the self-esteem you don't have it's almost like not having respect for yourself and not like just selling yourself short and not having self worth. Like you don't know your worth. Like your shade and um, I just I just use the true match. Like if you've seen like my tutorial and stuff, like on my full face and everything like that, then you know I use that as bronzer. But yeah, um, it just makes you do like things that you wish you wouldn't have done. But like I'm happy for those lessons though. Like, cause I learned from them, and I'm definitely like a better person than I was like in college and like before I, I like actually got with Brett and things like that. So it's just like I, I don't really regret anything. I think this is Clinique. Yeah, this this thing is beat up, broken, but I use this in my full face foundation one too. My grandma, my little well, Lisa gave it to me. It's just like this pretty little color. I've had it forever. Um, get my blush brush. Yeah, just gonna have some blush. Um, no, like if you guys could see my makeup, if anyone follows me on Facebook, because that's where all my embarrassing pictures are. Like, you know, it was a struggle, okay? I used to take this blush, and I'm pretty sure that's why the pan is like busted in. I used to take this blush because I didn't know anything about makeup. Like I said, I was a tomboy. And I used to use it basically as like a bronzer, how I would apply my blush if you saw a picture. And it was terrible. Like it was so freaking much blush and just so freaking red. Like I think I am gonna do like a video where I recreate how I did my makeup in high school. The only thing is, is like these brows are popping now and I used to have the teeniest eyebrows ever. Like. I was so mad, like I used to, like I told my mom, like why would you even let me walk out the house like that? But it wasn't her fault because then eyebrows were in back then, so yeah. But yeah, like if you add too much of this blush, like girl, you will look like a clown. You look like a clown. So I try to add a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish my lips since I already started them. <laughs> And I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills and 
matte lipstick in the shade Honey. You can tell, like, this whole top is brown. Just a high that egg. Want some? Do you want some? Okay, baby. It's an all night setting spray. Let me just back a bit. Get my hair out of the way. Oh, nap, nap. No, Nicole. Okay, so now that I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my highlighting brush and spray that too. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my, um, what is it? I'm gonna take my low sunday kit from Anastasia and I'm going to take the shade Summer. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that onto my cheeks. Well, my face is a little bit tan. I'm gonna go ahead and go get dressed real quick, and I'll be back to close this video. Okay, guys. So this is the final look. I'm all dressed. I have on a Nike like dress. It's it's kind of long. It goes past my knees. Yeah, but. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys uh, liked it, this kind of video. And if you do, just let me know if you would like to see more like Chit Chat Get Ready With Me. And yeah, see you next time in my next video. And if you would, give this a thumbs up and a like. And make sure you hit that, and you know, make sure you hit the subscribe button and subscribe if you aren't already. I would really appreciate it. I'm ready to do my giveaway. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope you like it again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.